Now let's discuss SQL keywords. SQL keywords are basically the reserved words that you can use with your SQL query or inside an SQL query. So let me explain you different different types of SQL keywords that we have. So the number one is in. This SQL keyword, this in SQL keyword can be used with SQL query to identify the values that you want to map with a set or with a collection of the values that you are available with. Let me explain it to you with a simple example over here. So I have uh, different different names like uh, in this name list, I have different different names. It is uh, one is John, one is Max, one is Jeff and I want to compare the values that are uh, like the like uh, the, I want to get the records which may have one of these values. So if do, I do not have the in keyword, how will I do that? Like uh, I want to get the records whose name includes or has uh, John, like Max or Jeff, whatever it is. Yeah, John, Max and Jeff. So in that case, how uh, will I do that? I'll write down where name equals to John. Then I'll write down or name is equals to Max or name is equals to Jeff. So this is how I'm going to do that. But that's very tedious. What if I have 15 values? What if I have 50 values? How am I going to do that? Like how am I going to write down a, such a big SQL query which will have uh, 50 values or 100 values that I need to compare with a particular field. So in the, those situations, I'm going to use in keyword and how, how I'm going to do that is. So over here, I've created a list which includes all the values or all the names with which I need to compare that particular field's value. And uh, I have created a list of contact like I have created a SQL query over here which is select first name comma last name comma email then from contact where name in like this where name in and then colon name list so after in keyword we can give any collection that may be list or a set uh, which can like which includes different different values and if the value uh, of that particular field uh, is similar to the value of this particular collection then the record will be returned by this particular query so if any of the contact has name uh, as john Ma max or jeff then this sql query will return that particular contact record or contacts s object into this con list one uh, yeah into this list con list one list of contacts which is named over here as con list one and as we have done it with list we can also do it with set so i've created a set of id over here and in the in this set i've uh, like labeled it as name set i've given the name it as name set and uh, in this i have different different ids and i want to get the records which may have one of these uh, values which are into this particular set so this is one id this is another id and I want to get the records which have uh, ID similar to this. So instead of writing down ID is equals to first value or ID is equals to second value, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to use the in keyword. And uh, how I'm going to do that is select first name, last name, email from contact where ID in again in and then with colon, I've used the uh, like name of that particular variable uh, over which I have like uh, which refers to that particular collection. Uh, which includes all the values that I need to compare with that field value. So I've used name set over here. That's it. So this is how in keyword is used. You also need to make sure that you're not using map as a collection with in keyword because it doesn't work like that. It can only work with list or sets, not with maps. The second SQL keyword that we have is not. Okay. Uh, you like earlier you used in keyword where you wanted to compare a single field's value with a list of values that you have. But what if you want the values to not be into that particular collection? So in that case, you'll simply use not keyword with your in keyword to negate the operation. So let me give you a simple example over here. I want uh, contacts which do not have the name as John, Max or Jeff. So in that case, in, uh, instead of writing down select first name, last name, email from contact where name in na colon name list, I'll write down not in colon name list. And similarly, I, if I want the contacts uh, which do not have the IDs uh, as following as we have given into this particular set, then I'm going to write down select first name, comma last name, comma email from contact where ID not in this name set. So it will return all the records, all the contact objects record which do not have the ID specified into this particular collection. That's it.